Hey everyone, it's Paul Pyro, and today I'm going to show you how to turn this ordinary Rubik's Cube into the amazing mini safe. Now the best part is, we're going to do this entire project for under $10, so stay tuned. Alright, now for this project, all you're going to need is a Rubik's Cube. Now if you want to know where to find one for really, really cheap, look in the description below and I have some links to where you can buy them online. I got this Rubik's Cube for around 3 or $4 online and it was really, really cheap. Now the rest of the things for the project are either cheap little containers that I found around the house or some tools that I had laying around. If you don't have these, however, these will be additional costs. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get started. Alright, so now the first step is to get your Rubik's Cube and to turn the top like so. Now by turning it like this, you expose these inner parts to actually be pried up. Now what you're going to want to do is place your thumb underneath the middle blocks and actually pry upward. You can use a screwdriver to help you with this. Now every single piece will come out really, really easily now. Alright, so now that you have the top removed, this is all that you're going to need to remove for now. Now the next step is to find a container that's relatively the same height as the Rubik's Cube. If it's not, don't worry, we're actually going to cut it and adjust the height. Alright, now the next step is to actually hold the center piece down and to cut it off. Now some Rubik's Cubes will actually pry off, but for mine it's actually glued into place. So now we're going to have to cut it off with a little hacksaw. Now finally I got this thing off. Now the next step is to actually drill out the entire center. Now you can use a drill bit, however I'm actually going to be using my Dremel tool and this will do the same job. Just a heads up, I found that it actually helps to tape the entire outer part first, so this way all the pieces don't go everywhere. Alright, now the next part is a little bit of a pain, but this is going to eventually make it really really nice and actually make sure everything's nice and flush. So what you're going to want to do is grab your container, whatever container it is. Now I actually learned that you don't need a container, the only reason why I'm using a container is to let the top layer threads on properly. However, you could do the same with magnets or any other sort of gizmo that you have in mind. Now, what we're going to do is grab the container, thread down, and place the thread there. Push it as far as you can. What is happening? Alright, now that it's as far as it'll go, right to the bottom, what you're going to want to do is actually mark that off there, and that'll give you a place to actually cut later on. Alright, so now that you have that little line drawn, what you're going to want to do is make a cut along that line with the hacksaw or whatever you have, and then we're going to continue from there. Alright, so now that you have it cut off, you don't really need this part anymore, so you can discard that or put it aside. You're going to need this. You're going to need the threaded part, and you're going to need a little bit of depth right there. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is clean this up, now you can sand that little bit off there, and then what we're going to do is we're going to set it inside here, so that we actually have some sort of a threaded container lip right there, and then we're going to attach the lid to the other section, so everything goes nice and flush. Alright, let's get started. The other thing you're going to have to do is actually hot glue the whole base there, and maybe smudge it against the sides, just to actually make sure that the pieces don't fall apart when you remove the tape. Alright, so now we're actually going to let this thing dry, so we're going to set that aside. And now back to the main top piece. So we got to sort of figure this out. Now, it's going to take a bit of playing with to sort of match up all the pieces, but you will be able to figure it out eventually. Maybe. So finally I actually hauled that bit out, we're going to grab some more hot glue and just lace this entire middle. And we're just going to fill in the outer cracks there, now you can fill it with glue, epoxy, anything you want really. Alright, so after I finished everything, I realized my Rubik's Cube looks like It actually turned out horrible because the tape ripped off all the stickers. However, I did manage to print off a little template here, and you can find anyone by just googling online just saying. Rubik's Cube sticker replacement, and you can print off these templates. 
And I'm going to get busy cutting these because I'm going to have to paste it on every single one of these. Not necessarily the best thing in the world, but it makes it look a lot better. Alright, so after a while of it not working and really me off, I just thought I'd get rid of the idea and try something else. Now my next idea is to actually use paint like a normal person and actually paint the whole thing. So we'll give that a go. Alright, so now you have it, the Ruby's Cube Mini Safe. Now if you want to see more projects like this, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now you can do that by clicking the big bubble right here, or by going down there and clicking subscribe. Now by subscribing, I'll keep you up to date on all my latest projects, new science gizmos, and some crazy science experiments I have in mind in the future. Now also, feel free to comment below what you think I should do differently, or future project ideas you have. Or if you just want to say hello, I'm welcoming every single person to my YouTube. Alright, now for any YouTubers who are new to this channel, just a heads up, my name is Paul Pyro, I upload one video every single week, and I absolutely love science videos, if you haven't told. Now, this one necessarily isn't a science video, more of just a little gizmo and gadgets video. And I make tons of those, so if you want to see more projects like this, definitely subscribe, and I'm welcoming you to my YouTube channel. Alright, and one more thing before you go, feel free to check out the Chemistry Shack. Now, you can check out his channel right here. Now, he actually has some amazing chemistry videos, ranging from dubstep explosions, to aluminum and hydrochloric acid, just to some crazy science experience. You even have a happy mold day video, which is insanely awesome. So if you really want to check out some chemistry videos, feel free to click right here. If you want to check out some more DIY projects, click right here. Thank you very much and have an awesome day. Yeah.